Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Fallout 4. Alright, when we left off, we were in the middle of trying to clear out the area around Corvega, and there's a lot of catwalks to do that. So, let's get to it, because we're right here. <laughs> After we had killed the raiders in the Corvega plant, I figure we might as well take out the ones outside of it. Okay, now we cleared out this area here, but we still have the roof to go. So, hopefully, this will go in our favor. Considering so far it's not really been too bad, I'm going to assume that's going to be the case. Okay, there's one of them. I say one because I don't see any more, but there might be. Oh, well, there's... I hear the spotlight going off. So there's that. Okay. Can we get it at a better vantage point to deal with this guy? We'll find out in a moment, won't we? In just a second. There we are. Ooh. <laughs> Frame rate died a little bit there. Had a bit of a conniption. Okay, where is the guy? There he is. And see if this will pop off his head eventually. Okay, I definitely need to put some more points in luck if that's going to be the buildup of my uh, uh, da, 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 da. criticals. There we go. Hey, my brain. Ooh, I have never seen you before. Repair bobblehead. Excellent. Why go down with the ship when you can try to fix it? Fusion cores permanently last 10% longer. Holy tits. Oh, buddy, no. Where'd you go? Oh, jeez. It's not good at all. Oh, I'm going to take all that, though. Thank you. I could use all that. Pipe pistol, a little less so. Well, luckily, he doesn't die outright, so that's the good thing. Okay. Now that that's all taken care of, is there anything else I can do up here? I'll find out in a second. Mainly because I want to get all the loot that could be in this area. And by could, I mean is, because there is always something. It's usually not a lot, as I found, because yeah, the game has to give you some challenge, but it is usually something. You had a shotgun and were trying to shoot from up here. The flying... You, you deserve a bullet in the head just for being that stupid. Jesus. Unless you have slugs, you are not going to hit me with a shotgun. Come the fuck on. Okay. You're gonna be... Oh. All of them stopped. Okay. Fair enough. I'll take all that this one has. There we go. And I could have sworn I saw a building over this way. I did. Okay. Just gonna see if there's any more bodies on this catwalk. Nope. Go straight to the roof. Okay. In that case, let's head over here. Uh, what do we got over here? Rubble. Oh, there's a body I took care of before I went in. There's a, actually a couple of them. That's a weird position. <laughs> this guy fell in like real weird, really weird position, and this guy fell on top of his knee. <laughs> well, that's a. Uh, that's a position for sure. Okay. Let's make it sure I'm catching everything before I go. Anything else? No. Okay. We're good. As far as I'm concerned, we are golden. Let's head back up and go into that little building there. Okay. Man, I, I am glad that I have grilled rad steak. I'm glad I have that. Okay. Where's... There it is. Okay, let's go in here, see what we got. This seems like an overseer's. So, okay, just making sure there's no traps. Because that's always a possibility around here. Okay, terminal. A very unfortunate word when it comes to computers. <laughs> it's also a very unfortunate word when it comes to airplanes. Uh, spotlight control. That's it. Okay. That's, uh, I guess that's it. Fuck that then. We're good. 
we have cleared out, more or less, the entire Corvega facility. Alright, let's get ourselves where we're supposed to be, which is port your success to Ten Pines Bluff, or was it uh, Abernathy Farm? Oh, Abernathy Farm was with the locket, and yeah, okay. Ten Pines Bluff, there we are. Head over there, and then I'll head back to Sanctuary, drop off my junk, and then I'll head over to uh, Abernathy. See the kitty again. Kitty! Oh, they're so cute. I'll say it once, I'll say it again. Best retcon ever. <laughs> okay. Where did you guys go? Oh, there's one of you. you find those rings? Yep, and I took them out. Don't need to worry about them. <laughs> I kicked their asses. Yeah, I kicked their asses for you. No kidding. That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the minute. Hey, nice. If we want things to get better. We've got to start helping each other. You're not wrong. So we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again. Not a problem. And thank you for joining. And that's. I assume husband, brother, something like that. Anyway, and that means I can interact with this place a little bit. Give these people a little bit more of a something to deal with. Stuff, I guess. <laughs> Although, oh, geez. Okay. Okay, did not expect that. Okay, they dealt with most of it for me. There we go. It's over for now. Well, you're not wrong. Okay, I'm gonna scrap that. You know. Hmm. Yeah, let's scrap that too. Might as well. Uh, mattress. Uh, usually I don't use this sort of thing as a home. But then again, it does give you a pretty decent frame. Nah, nah. I'm going to instead... Oh, wait, where's the prefabs? There's the prefabs. Uh, do something like large shack? No, that's not going to let me. Uh, hmm. I guess I got to go with floors. Okay, it doesn't give me an option because I don't have concrete. Shit, that's the one thing I need for that. Uh, why is concrete so hard to come by? Ah! Okay. Oh. <laughs> I was about to say, what the hell? Dog meat. What the hell are you doing there? There we go. There's some concrete. Alright, I need to see if I can find more. Okay, just on the off chance. Ooh, there's a water pump. Uh, I could probably stand to have a, one more water pump, now that I think about it. Should probably make that up for them real quick. There we go. Ah, put it right next to the other one. How's that? So, they could have two people gather water at the same time. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright. Adjustable wrench removed. Oh, I have plenty of gears, too. Wonder how much oil I got. Ooh! I can set them up with a couple of these. Although... Math-wise, which one would be better? With the amount of oil I got, I can only make two of those. So that would be 16. The amount of oil I got, I can make four of these. And that'd be 20. So, this one it is then. <laughs> that pretty much solved itself. Okay, can we get it in a position here? That'll work. Uh, get this one over here. There we are. I don't need to know how the defense value works. I know how it works. I've done this a million times already. Okay, put this here. And put this one uh, ba -ba 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 here. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Yep. Wood. There we go. Okay. Now that I have some concrete, I can set up what I was going to do when your defense value is too low, the chance for attacks on your settlement increases. You should try to keep your defense value at least as high as the sum of your food and water production. 
Oh, that I didn't know. <laughs> that I did not know. And I, in my own personal file, I do have it like that. I think my defense value is in the hundreds. <laughs> so I think I'm good in that regard. I think my water production is like in the 80s too. So yeah, I'm pretty much covered. At least in my own sanctuary. Okay. That's a little too high for that. Okay, let's put this... Where should I put it? That's the question. Where should I put the bastard? Uh, can I do it like this? Maybe? No. It's not working like I want it to. Uh, titties. Uh, God damn it. I just put it like this. How's that? Uh. Oh, it's... They were not wrong. They did definitely make snapping that sort of stuff a lot easier. Oh, I'm out of wood. Oh, tits. Well, there's some right there. Ta-da. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm out of concrete and wood. Ugh, boy. This is going to be a thing. Middle bucket. I'll take the steel. Thank you. Ooh. Trees. I forgot we had trees everywhere. That's always useful when it comes to wood. Okay. Pop this. Oh, I need steel for that. Damn it. Okay, fine. We're going to be playing that game. Uh, Yeah, the grill gives a little bit of steel. Uh, pop that concrete back in. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, tin can. Could use that steel could use that steel very much so here right now okay let's put whoop oh, that's a that's a lot of that's a lot <laughs> oh come on really i put the foundation here and you're not even gonna rest on it okay god damn it if you're gonna play that game i'm gonna put it here snap that to that and I'll probably have to put stairs up to make that work. Okay. Let's try that again. Take two. Aha! There we go. Uh, where's the door again? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. There it is. Oh, you little shit. How dare you? How dare you stop working for me? You were working so well earlier. Oh, jeez. Whoop. Okay. Well, that didn't exactly work as intended. Okay. Definitely need to make some stairs, though. Uh, I can make that with just wood, though, right? Oop. Okay, that's not working really well, is it? No, not at all. Oh, jeez. Gotta love that. Okay. I need to figure out some way to make this work. Give me a moment. Uh, jeez. That there. Okay. That's done and good. Need the steel now, and we don't have a lot of that. At least not here. Uh, cinder block. Okay. Uh, branch pile. Can take that. That's always good, at least for the wood part. Um, I'm really not seeing anything else I can use for the metal. Am I going to have to go back to Sanctuary already just to get steel? I guess I am. Shit. And I was planning on making you guys a new area so that way I could bring settlers in. Oh, well. So you could have some friends. Guess that's not going to happen. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Let's head back to uh, Sanctuary. There we go. And we will plant some food for them while I'm there. Because, you know, that was the main goal before I got distracted by stuff. Ah. Uh, the bull barrel on the uh, 44 revolver looks great. I love it. Scopes, a little less so on 44s. I don't know why. I don't know why I don't like 
the scopes, but I just don't. Do not like it in the slightest. Okay, let's dump... Uh, didn't get rid of the locket that I need to give back, did it? I'm gonna check real quick before I do anything. Uh, no, it didn't. Good, good. Okay, I'm gonna need some steel. So... Uh, where is it? There's some steel there. Okay. Um, I could probably bring down the base steel if I could do that. Where is that? There we go. Ooh, that's a lot of base steel there. Okay, let's try and bring that down quite a bit to about 97. We could do that. Carry all that on us. And, yeah, I'm just trying to see what stuff I can get rid of. Oh, these are different. Different guns in general. This one has, like, the long light barrel, I think. Kind of hard to tell. Yeah, it's a short light barrel. Wait, what? Oh, the other one's a stub barrel. Okay. Now my brain functions. Okay. Let's get these bits of food planted around here. Which would be good back here. I have a feeling. Uh, there we are. Uh, food. There we are. Can't plant corn? Really? Oh, I have a bunch more potatoes, though. Okay, let's do the carrot real quick, because carrots are useful for a thing. Okay. I... Let's shut that gate. There we go. Ooh! Bumped it up to 80%. Alright. Not gonna complain there. Alright, let's... Yeah, let's do this. Uh, put that... There. And put that... There. And... We'll call that good. Haha! <laughs> Up to 100%. Nice. Okay, I do not want gourds, though. <sighs> I don't like them. I do not like, but because they're there and they help, I'm going to ignore them for the time being. Okay. I'm going to pop back out of there. There we go. Hey, Sturgis. Now this place is starting to feel like... Yeah, there you go. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. Glad to the help. The trouble is, the more we establish ourselves here, the more of a target. Yep. What we need is to get some defenses set up. Then maybe Preston will be able to relax a little bit. Fair enough. What kind of defenses? What sort of defenses did you have in mind? Walls, sandbags, can I see turrets, him? Whatever you can put together. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, I was looking at you through a wall, but okay, if you say that'll work, that'll work. Huh. Let's see. Oop, I could take this tree. Give me some wood, thank you. Alright. Since he said some guard posts wouldn't hurt. Uh, since that's easiest to do as well. Uh, put this in the middle of the road, maybe? Yeah, that'll work. Put that there. And... Needs a person to man them. I'm not entirely sure how many can be manned by one person. So I'm just gonna... Since I don't really run with Preston all that often, I'm just going to keep him here. And I'm going to use him to man these. Okay. Uh, Sturgis, you're kind of in the way there, bub. Thank you. Okay. And I'm going to... Can I... Oh, I have to talk to you for a thing first. Okay. Alright, we have a lot more oil here than we do at the other place. So I'm just going to... Put up the heavy machine guns here. Simply because, hey, why not? Uh, put a couple of them in front of the, uh, da -ba -da -ba -da. these, <laughs> the guard posts. There we go. Uh, put this one here. And the little, apparently can't do it too close. There we go. Nice. And... Put another one in front of the other guard posts. Or another two, rather. 
circuitry. I'm running out of circuitry. That's not good. Need to pick up more phones. <laughs> okay, let's get one here. Okay, come on. Let's get a little closer to the damn thing. Uh, there we go. And there we go. Perfect. Adds a little covering fire when uh, Preston's firing from these. Well, when I eventually use him for that. Hey, Sturgis, I'm done. Doing that. We'll all sleep better at night knowing we have some defenses set up. You're welcome. It's been a long road. But yeah, I think this is it. Home. Feels good. Glad to share it with you, bud. Uh, home for you. Glad to help. I was glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Of course you know you're welcome anytime. Mm -hmm. My door's always open to you. Windows, too. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. <laughs> yeah. I guess I better get back. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Take care now. I will do. You as well. Bubba. Bubba. <laughs> okay, where the hell is Preston before I embarrassate, embarrassate, tolerates you? What do you mean tolerates me? Motherfucker, you should tolerate me regardless. You are my robotic butler. Damn it. Where the hell is Preston? God damn it. Uh, it's probably this way. Preston. Preston, I need to talk to you. About things and stuff, stuff and things. You're not wrong. Take care of your gun. Again, you're not wrong. Hey. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the men. Exactly. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flares. Hey. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby minute. Fair enough. Not much use now. Have more allied settlements. You'll have help whenever you need it. So. There's something I need to ask you. Is there? I don't think I ever told you what happened to the minute. Ooh, got oh, another level up. The last one. Yeah, you didn't tell me about that. You just said that you were the last one. Uh I'm listening. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? Nope. Because I was frozen in carbonite, <laughs> basically. Uh Quincy Massacre? What was it? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. Well, I was frozen. The Minutemen betrayed each other. Oh. And the people they were supposed to protect. Oh, jeez. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. Mm -hmm. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. That is awful. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead. So I ended up in charge of the survivors. Oh, jeez. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended? Yeah, I did. So, <laughs> yeah, I know how it feels. Don't give up. As long as you don't give up, the Minutemen will Yeah, exactly. Up. I'm not about to give up. But I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. Fair enough. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. You think I can? Uh, what about you? Why can't you yeah. rebuild the Minutemen? That's not who I am. I can get my men through a firefight. I can defend a perimeter against all odds. Okay, off, fair enough. But that's not going to be enough to bring the Minutemen back from the brink. Okay. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. Why me? What makes you think I can do this? You saved us in Concord. There wasn't anything in it for you. You had your own problems to deal with, but you did it. Yeah, that's true. That kind of selflessness has been in mighty short supply around here for quite a while. Uh, so, what about the Minutemen should I know, really? Can you explain what the Minutemen are yeah. all about? We're citizen soldiers. The people of the Commonwealth banding together to protect ourselves... And decide our own. So, thing. like the original Minutemen. The original idea, and it was a good one. The Minutemen fell apart because our leaders forgot what we were supposed to stand. Yeah, for. from the side of it. I think you're the one who can bring the Minutemen back, and bring the whole Commonwealth together. You're probably right about that. I think I could. I think I could do that. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, I'll do it. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. Hey, hey. I feel like this is a whole new start for the Minutemen. 
and the Commonwealth too. Sounds good. Don't worry, I'll be right beside you all the way, General. Gee. Sarcastic. <laughs> so if I'm a general, where's my army? <laughs> You're looking at it, I'm afraid. <laughs> but I wasn't joking when I called. Oh really? Him. The leader of the Minuteman has always held the rank of general. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in '82. Nobody could agree on who should take his. Oh, place. that's shit. But one good thing about being the last minute man is there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job. Fair There's enough. more than an empty title. Alrighty. Any word about a settlement that's being threatened by. Oh, America. great. Yippee. Well, are you going to tell me about it? Staring at each other longingly for about five seconds. <laughs> Apparently, it's going to be the latter. I'll mark it on your map. There we go. What they need. We can use more settlements. Fair enough. Will do. Oberlin Station. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it anyway. Uh, yeah. Okay. I definitely need to head back to the other place, but once I am done with that, I will definitely head over there. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.